for me personally, it gave me peace of mind that finally someone's being held accountable, that charges are being filed, that those guys are no longer free to roam about and carry on like they did nothing wrong. It took seven painful years, but Michael Cochran says news of criminal charges against the four security guards responsible for the death of his brother Mackenzie, finally bringing a sense of joy and hope. But he says there's not a day that goes by that he doesn't think about this video. In 2014 at Northland Mall, security guards worked to restrain Mackenzie, pinning him down, face down, to the point where he couldn't breathe, killing him. Absolutely, is what the family's been waiting for. Um... You know, we were we had grown tired of the injustice. It was a thing, you know, justice delayed is justice denied. In this case, justice delayed, still we have justice because of Dana Nussel. Gerald Thurswell, who has represented the Cochran family since the beginning, giving the credit to Attorney General Dana Nessel, who decided to reopen the case. With the help of Southfield PD, Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald, and some new evidence, Nessel reviewed the facts and charged the four security guards with involuntary manslaughter, something the Oakland County Prosecutor at the time, Jessica Cooper, refused to do because she felt there was no intention to kill. At the time, she said to me, she said, <clears throat> I'm not going to prosecute criminally, um, but you're going to have a good civil suit. And the family, the civil suit was one thing, but the family wanted accountability. The family settled a civil suit against the security company, but they always longed for justice. So much so, Michael Cochran, who was a police officer in Indiana, turned in his badge. It was hard for me to move on in the law enforcement world. Uh, with uh, everything that happened to my brother. Bottom line is this, there has to be accountability. In the end, I asked her as well, is this closure for the family? Is it closure for you? He said, once the jury convicts those four security officers or they plead guilty, then they will finally have closure. I'm Tara Asher, Fox 2 News.